Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss the example for function and graph. Shows that the function where we have the fx has an inverse. So how to show whether it has an inverse or not? So meaning that we have to show by using the one-to-one -one function. So fx sub 1 equals to fx sub 2. So can you substitute? 1 minus, we have the square root, 2 minus x sub 1 equals to 1 minus, we have the square root, 2 minus x sub 2. So can we simplify the situation? So here we have the square root 2 minus x sub 2 equals to square root 2 minus x sub 1. Next, square both sides. So if we square both sides, 2 minus x sub 2 equals to 2 minus x sub 1. Can we rearrange the situation? So we have the x sub 1 equals to x sub 2. Shows that fx is a 1, 2, 1 function. Then we can say that fx has an inverse function. Next, state the domain and the range for the function fx. So what we have to do now is to focus on the fx. So the domain for fx would be, so it refers to the situation, here we have 1 minus the square root of 2 minus x. So for this part, we have all real number. And then minus means that we have to intersect. Continue, we have 2 minus x greater than or equal to 0, so x must be less than or equal to 2. So from here, we have negative infinity until 2. So if we intersect, and our domain for the f would be, Negative infinity until 2. So Kali refers to the situation. We have to sketch the graph. So if we refers to the graph, and we will have the situation, number 1, y is equals to square root of 2 minus x. So the graph will be something like this. So 1, 2. So the graph will be something like this. Where we have the situation, if we substitute x equals to 0, and we will have square root of 2, and here we have 0, 2, 0. So that is the situation. Next, we have y is equals to negative square root of 2 minus x. So from here, our situation will be something like this. So here we have negative square root of 2. Here we have 2, 0. Continue. We have y is equals to 1 minus square root of 2 minus x. So meaning that we have to lift up for one unit then the situation will be something like this. So we have the situation 2, 1. Then we have this part. So continue. Here we have the situation 1 minus square root of 2. So from here, we can see that the range would be negative infinity until 1. So that is the range, and we have the domain, we have the negative infinity until 2. So kindly refers to the second part. So given we have the gx, and we notice that we have the modulus of x, where we have the definition x, x greater equals to 0, negative x, we have x less than 0. So that is the definition. So represent the situation in a real number line. So we have the value 0 until negative 2. So refers to the situation, we have 0 until negative 2, where the 0 is not included. So the function is less than 0. So here, the modulus of x considered as negative x. If it's a 0, then we have the value 5. If it's greater than 0, then we will have the function x to the power of 3. So if it refers to the situation, and we will have the function gx, the first one we have, negative x, then followed by we have the 5, and then we have x to the power of 3. So that is the function. So as for the domain, and we will have x is greater or equals to negative 2 and less than 0. So x is equals to 0, then x is greater than 0. So based on the situation in here, state the domain for the gx. So the domain for g will be equals to negative 2 until infinity. So we have to refer to the function gx. Next, 
sketch the graph of gx, hence find the range. So based on the situation, we have the x, y axis. So here we have negative 1, negative 2. If we substitute the function x equals to negative 2, then the value of y will be equals to 2. So here we have 1 and 2. So that is the situation. If we substitute 0, then the value of y will be 0 as well. So for this case, it is an empty circle. Next, if x is really equals to 0, then the value of y will be 5. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So we have the dense circle. So the situation for this part would be a straight line. Continue. Next, we have x greater than 0, where we have the function x cubed. So the function will be something like this. So here we have x to the power of 3, and here we have negative x. So here we have the graph. So question said, find the range. So if it refers to the range for the g, so lowest value will be 0, but not included. And the highest value will be positive infinity. So that is the situation for these questions. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to this channel and share this video to your friend. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.